Welcome back everybody. This is the 10 gallon Red Wiggler worm bin that's six months old. And the last time that we checked in here was five and a half weeks ago. Today we're gonna go through the bin and see what they've been up to the past five weeks. Hopefully they're not too mad at me that I've left them alone for five weeks. I think that it's kind of good that they've been able to really finish off a lot of the material in here through those five weeks. So this paper side is where we fed last. There's a lot of worms in that paper here. So we will use it underneath where we feed. There's also a lot of worms underneath it too. Look at all these worms here. Just wiggling along. Enjoying that paper here. Okay, we'll move that off to the side and put it to use in a little bit. So let's see what they've done here. I'm pretty sure we won't have any food left at all. Look at this guy just making his way inside into that mango seed. Look at all that action going on inside. I'm glad that didn't fling at me. It usually does. So that's just beautiful right there. We need to put that off to the side. I'm gonna collect all the larger pieces and whatever leftover mango seeds, avocado shells, paper items we have left. I wanna get them out of the casting so it's not throughout the bin, it's just in one area. So like this right here, it's a string from a paper bag. We'll put that off with the leftover mango seed. And here's another paper bag. No more bag, just a string and then this little piece of it. But this material is looking really good after six months. Of course, this is just the dry material that was on the edge over here where I didn't have the plastic covering it. So we'll mix that in. But I'm not really running into any more larger pieces. That's a surprise. I think I'm actually going to remove this out of here for a little bit so it's not bothering me so I can flip through the material one more time just in case I miss something. This is probably from a tomato. Still left. It's probably out on the top where the dryer end was so it didn't get consumed yet. But it smells so earthy and so good. Love it. So like I'm going to take all these paper pieces that I see. They're not really big, but they're still there. Just one more go. We have a cocoon if I don't drop it. There it is. Fresh cocoon. So they're happy campers in here. But they definitely need their bedding to be upgraded. It's been six months since they've been in this material. And we all know that the worms turn bedding and fruits and veggies and leaves and anything you put in here into worm castings, which is their poop. But we don't want to be sitting in our own poop. So in order the worms for a longer period of time. So we will 
try and update their bedding. That's the goal here. And for me to harvest their castings. And for me not to have to remove them from this bin, which would be even more great. Crawling up the sides here. Thinking it's a better life out there. Okay. Looks like I've gotten the majority of the pieces that I can see out of here. Moved off to the side. I made that end empty over there. So I'm going to place these paper towels here. I used to clean the counter. If you watched my last video, I placed a whole pumpkin in the African Nightcrawler bin. Just in case you missed it, I'll link it on the right hand corner. But I used these two paper towels to clean up the counter after I was done. There was some liquid left from the pumpkin that was dripping onto the counter and I made a fresh batch of coconut core for them. So I used that to clean everything up. And then here's some dry shredded paper and cardboard. It's dry because I still have some of that liquid from that pumpkin that I told you in the last video that I was going to use. So this will kickstart all the microbes and such onto this shredded paper and cardboard. I'm just going to rinse out the bowl and use that water on here as well. We already have a worm heading in the right direction. That's what we want them to do. Okay. Perfect. You never really want to pour the water in like so, but I just did it to rinse out the bowl. Might as well put the good juices to use. And then we have that paper that was sitting on top with some worms. Let me see which side would be better for me to place the food so I'm not placing it on the worms. But just to be safe, I'll sprinkle some dried cardboard here on top so that I'm not touching any worms, just in case those babies are really easy to miss. So I don't want to have any trouble with that. Let me give this bowl a good rinse and use that water here as well, like so. So I have some strawberries, some tomatoes that went bad, some collard greens and spinach. Some more of the same items. Of course, they gotta make it hard on me and run away from where I want the food to be. Okay. Actually, let's smush it down a little bit so it's not a hill. There we go. And there's just a little bit of more of that cardboard on here. And then let's start pushing the material close to that feeding area like so and even out this hill that we have going on over here we missed that avocado shell here so I'll stick it underneath over there there's still some paper pieces and bedding that I see some more avocado shell I'll just move over and then coffee sprinkled up on top here and of course I have grit getting a little low but I think I'll go upstairs after this filming and make a fresh batch and then we can't forget the leftover pieces that I picked out while we were going through the bin. Kind of gives a nice covering for that fresh feeding right over here. And then we'll use some paper to cover this side up here the best that we can. This plastic covering will not cover the whole bin as it was before. So let me see if I can get a good fold here, like so. 
So I just want it covering the feeding area like that. So this side, well, we have a runaway over here. So while I talk, we can watch him do what he's gonna do. So we want this side to be uncovered. Let it dry out a little bit so that the next time when I come in here, I can just sweep the top layer, sift out the castings, put the castings in a separate bin, and whatever doesn't sift, I can put back in to the feeding area here. The worms are gonna stay out of my way. I'm gonna stay out of theirs, maybe, because <laughs> I'm still gonna go digging in here. <laughs> and it'll be an easy harvest and then we can slowly add more bedding for the worms into this bin and make it a new one. I will see you guys in my next video. Have a beautiful day. Bye-bye.